comrade. Mother Russia sent her regards. Mine is finished. It's all a haze, man. Well, there was this little green dude, and he had this, like, big gun and a jetpack, and he really showed the man who's boss. He tossed the fuzz around, and boom! Called himself Crypto, I think? But then he put on those groovy glasses, and suddenly it was all colors. And I just wanted to dance, man. Like, couldn't have stopped if I wanted to. Mind control, man. Mind control, I always told you. And then I wake up, look up, and there he is in his flying saucer, burning whole buildings like they're just marshmallows, man. Far. Soon the citizens of Bay City will be embarking on a very bad trip. <laughs> Big war, not love! Oh, is that right? Ever since the ancients left us, and as far as the moons remember, Adelpha has been under Atalan's care. We are the keepers of all Yod's creations. We are home! Renounce false prophecies and give faith to our makers. If the odds can't save us, no one will! This is my home. My planet. Adelpha. Ever since I was a girl, I wanted to become a Dolotai guardian. Protect Adelpha. And all its creatures. Big and small. Virtuous and vicious. To defend against those who want to exploit its beauty. Destroy it. But now, we face our greatest threat. We need 
all the help we can get. Cutter Slade, your friendly neighborhood invader slayer. Different planet, same problems. Very good. Stay here. I have the best throwing arm. Raise the alarm! Romans are within the city walls! Hello everyone. I'm Jonas Weva. And I'm Sonar Doster. We're from Logic Artists, working on our newest game, Expeditions Rome. Expeditions Rome is a tactical turn-based role-playing game set in the ancient Roman Republic right around the time of Julius Caesar. The game casts you as a young Roman noble who is forced to flee Rome, and you seek refuge in a legion where you'll rise through the ranks and eventually assume command of the Legion yourself as its legate. In our game, combat takes place on a hex grid, where you buy for strategic positions to overwhelm your enemy. We focused on giving each unit a wide range of skills to choose from, that allows you to really try different things and find your own way to tackle each encounter. Yeah, our goal with designing the combat system was to make you feel like a small, elite group of professional Roman soldiers facing off against the barbarian hordes. Uh, you are very well equipped, you're very well trained. You have to experiment with your skills, some of which come from your weapons and others of which come from your classes, and find the best way that your characters can work together to survive in the face of these overwhelming odds. Ultimately, it's a role-playing game, and the most important thing to us is to give you a strong, deep story full of memorable characters some of which are from real history, because our game is set in the real world, uh, right around the end of the Roman Republic. Our story spans a decade, and it takes you all across Europe, including, of course, to Rome herself. What I really like, though, is our approach to choices and consequences. There's a real sense of the world reacting to what you're doing and the role you decide to play. Choices and consequences are a huge deal to us. We've spent a lot of time and effort making sure that even small actions you take can have surprisingly large knock-on effects. Um, decisions you make right at the start of the story can come back multiple times throughout your adventures. Don't kill him. He deserves worse fate than that. He should try being Cerberus himself. Killing him is the safest option. He clearly holds a lot of sway in this region. The locals might try to rescue him if we keep him alive. This is by far the biggest game we've worked on so far. It is more than twice the size of our previous game in the series. And we talked on a few things in the game, but we haven't even touched on the majority of the features, like uh, managing and commanding your legion in battle, crafting items, leveling and equipping your party, or treating the injuries after a fight, or expanding your war camp to unlock new features. We haven't even talked about the music either. Uh, our composer, Tom Farnan, has done a fantastic job of bringing to life all of these diverse cultures in the game. Absolutely. I still get the chills whenever I listen to the main theme. Mm, the main theme is wonderful. Uh, another of my favorites is Cleopatra's theme, because somehow he's managed to summarize what is actually a very complex character in a piece of music, which is extraordinary. Well, that's going to do it. We hope you enjoyed this deeper look into Expeditions Rome. We can't wait for you to have your own unique adventures playing our game. We do regular dev streams on Twitch, and we also have dev diaries on our community site. So we'd love for you to join us there and take part in the conversation. We also have Facebook, we have Twitter, we have Discord. So there are plenty of opportunities to get plugged in and learn more. Touch and touch.
because we've all had to wait, and for much too long, to be finally heard. Around this country and spreading all over the world now, what do we see? Incompetence, imbeciles, weak leaders, not able to rise up to the times. Our times. This is why, as a new generation takes over, everyone should be fully aware of one thing. Today is not about me. Today is about all of us. Today is about our movement. There are millions of us out there joining our cause. And it is together, bound by this cherished heritage, that we will show them who we are. We've only just begun. I know that an unknown foe will come soon. All my efforts to prepare humanity for this impending danger were for naught. Humans forget. We can't ignore the signs. We have to be prepared. We have to take care of ourselves above anything else. This is a war. Now go. Don't be such a buzzkill, man. Grab a beer and relax. Listen, the threat is real. The aware will come, and we haven't got much time left. Ignore the signs, there'll be no future for us. Yeah, I know. But maybe... Maybe you're getting caught up in this too. It's probably not that important right now. Kaya, I'm doing this for all of us. We have to do something. In case you hadn't noticed, I have other things to worry about. And I could really use some support, here and now. Oh, that hurt. 